Tamanooch. Hey, a hundred button men on the street 24 hours a day. That Turk shows one hair on his ass, he's dead. Believe me. Hey, Michael, come here. Let me look at you. You look beautiful. It's beautiful. You're gorgeous. Hey, listen to this. The Turk, he wants to talk. You got your imagine a nerve on this son of a bitch, eh? Craps out last night, he wants a meeting today. What'd he say? What did he say? But a beep, but a bap, but a boop, but a beep. He wants us to send Michael to hear the proposition. And the promise is that the deal is so good that we can't refuse. Hey. What about Bruno Tatari? It's part of the deal. Bruno cancels out what they did to my father. So suddenly we ought to hear what they had to say. No. 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 No more. Not this time, Consigliere. No more meetings, no more discussions, no more Salazzo tricks. You give him one message, I want Salazzo. Now nah, that's all out war. We go to the Some back. Some of the other families won't sit still. They hand me Salazzo. Your father wouldn't want to hear this. This is business, not personal. They shot my father. It's business Even the hilarious. shooting of your father was business, not personal, Sonny. Well, then business will have to suffer, all right? Hey, listen, do me a favor, Tom. No more advice on how to patch things up. Just help me win, please, all right? I found out about this Captain McCluskey who broke Mike's jaw. What about him? Now, he's definitely on Shalazzo's payroll and for big money. Eh? Now, McCluskey has agreed to be the Turk's bodyguard. What you have to understand, Sonny, is that while Shalazzo is being guarded like this, he is invulnerable. Now, nobody has ever gunned down a New York police captain, never. It would be disastrous. All the five families would come after you, Sonny. The Corleone family would be outcast. Even the old man's political protection would run for cover. So do me a favor. Take this into consideration. All right, wait. You can't wait. You can't wait. I don't care what Celeso says about a deal. He's going to kill Pop. That's it. That's the key for him. Got to get Celeso. Mike is right. Let me ask you something, McCluskey. I mean, what about this McCluskey? Huh? What do we do with this copy? They want to have a meeting with me, right? It will be me, McCluskey, and Salazzo. Let's set the meeting. Get our informers to find out where it's going to be held. Now, we insist it's a public place, a bar, a restaurant, some place where there's people so I feel safe. They're going to search me when I first meet them, right? So I can't have a weapon on me then. But if Clemenza can figure a way to have a weapon planted there for me, Then I'll kill them both. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? Nice college boy, huh? They want to get mixed up in the family business? Huh? Now you want to gun down a police captain? Why, because he slapped you in the face a little bit? Huh? What do you think, this is the army where you shoot him a mile away? You got to get him close like this, and bing you blow their brains all over your nice cyber league suit. Come in. Mwah! You're taking this very personal. Tom, this is business, and this man is taking it very, very personal. Where does it say that you can't kill a cop? Come on, Mikey. Tom, wait a minute. I'm talking about a cop that's mixed up in drugs. I'm talking about a, a, a dishonest cop, a crooked cop who got mixed up in the rackets and got what was coming to him. That's a terrific story. And we have newspaper people on the payroll, don't we, Tom? They might like a story like that. They might. They just might. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. It's as cold as they come. Impossible to trace, so you don't worry about prints, Mike. I put a special tape on the trigger and a butt. Here, try it. What's the matter, the trigger too tight? <laughs> oh. 
I don't. My ears. Yeah, I left it noisy. That way it scares any pain in the ass innocent bystanders away. All right, you shot them both. Now what do you do? Sit down, finish my dinner. Come on, kid, don't fool around. Just let your hands drop to your side and let the gun slip out. Everybody will still think you got it. You're going to be staring at your face, Mike. So walk out of the place real fast, but you don't run. Don't look nobody directly in the eye, but you don't look away either. Hey, they're going to be scared stiff of you, believe me. So don't worry about nothing. You know, you're going to turn out all right. You take a long vacation, nobody knows where, and we're going to catch the hell. How bad do you think it's going to be? Pretty goddamn bad. Probably all the other families will line up against us. That's all right. This seems got to happen every five years or so. Ten years. Helps to get rid of the bad blood. Been ten years since the last one. You know, you got to stop them at the beginning. Like they should have stopped Hitler at Munich. They should never let them get away with that. They was just asking for big trouble. You know, Mike, we was all proud of you. Being a hero and all. Your father, too. Absolutely nothing. Even so lots of people don't know where the meeting's gonna be held. How much time do we have? I'm gonna pick you up in front of Jack Dempsey's joint in an hour and a half. Exactly, an hour and a half. We could put a tail on him, uh, it turns out. So lots of loose our ass going around the block. What about the negotiator? He's over at my place playing pinochle with a couple of my men. He's happy, they're letting him win. There's too much of a risk for Mike. Maybe we ought to call it off, Sonny. The negotiator keeps on playing cards until Mike comes back safe and sound. So why doesn't he just blast who's ever in the goddamn car? It's too dangerous. They'll be looking for that. So Lotso might not even be in the car, Sonny. I get it. restaurant in the Bronx. Well, is it reliable? That's my man in McCluskey's precinct. Police captain's got to be on call 24 hours a day. He signed out at that number between 8 and 10. Anybody know this joint? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. It's perfect for us. A small family place, good food, everyone minds his business. It's perfect. Pete, they got an old-fashioned toilet. You know, the boxing and then the, uh, the chain thing. 